guys i'm back with my weekly video logs this is uh 10 weeks out friday um was 10 weeks out usually i do the videos on sunday um because that's when i have a little bit more time so this is 10 weeks out which is really i guess like nine weeks and five or six days whatever um so just wanted to go you know how i've been doing going over the week and just kind of like important stuff that i think you guys would find helpful my little sheet you know usually I got my little cheat sheet so i don't go too off topic um so first thing this week was a lot of the finishing touches on my study and i've talked a lot about my study i know you guys are probably like sick of that <laughs> but i'm a super nerd so this is really really exciting that i'm actually going to be able to start this um and anyone who's done research kind of knows this process <sighs> it's like a total nightmare i mean hats off to people who did this for a living like i'd probably kill myself um i mean i love research i love science you know obviously um but it is just, just like whew, process is, it's a bear, um, and I've never wanted to quit anything so badly in my life. Actually, I've never wanted to really quit something like fully in my life, quite like this. Um, like, you know, he told me that was gonna happen. I was like, oh, yeah, okay, and then oh, it happened. Um, so, you know, a lot, I know a lot of people, probably my listeners, are gonna, you know, understand the science aspect a little bit more and appreciate it more, I would say. Um, some people don't necessarily appreciate it, which is fine, you know, do what you want, think what you want. Um, but just know how much work goes into every study. Um, I mean, I always imagined what I thought would go into it, but I had no idea. <laughs> um, I've helped with research projects in my undergrad and I've, you know, helped here and there with different body comp assessments and, and so far in, in grad school. But, you know, when you do your own study, like it is all you, a hundred percent everything. So it's, um, yeah, really, it's, it's a lot. <laughs> so I'm really excited if you can't tell that it's going to start, um, which is tomorrow. Woo! Um, this week is going to be like craziness. Um, and so for anyone who's listening who happens to be a participant in my study, bring coffee, <laughs> please. Uh, I'm already asking to bring coffee. Uh, no, I mean, it's going to be good. It's just a lot, you know, the first, the first um, week. We're going to be doing testing for two weeks at a time every time we test. So um, this, this first week, a lot of the people signed up for the first week. Uh, I was kind of hoping we could like work the glitches out, you know, but uh, just going, going full in. So, um, a lot of people have been asking me how I schedule kind of my life and how I organize everything with, between school and training and, and everything like that. So, um, I'll go into that next week, I think, or just next video, because right now, like I, you know, I have my set kind of schedule and what I do and, but now I'm going to be dedicating like so much time also to the research, um, the actual like you know, testing portion. And this is going to be like the most I've ever, I've ever taken on, I guess you could say. Um, you know, I'll be doing, you know, assessments for, you know, five to seven hours at a time, um, prep, you know, just so making all my food, making sure my training's in, getting my cardio done. And then, you know, I have clients, you know, my online coaching clients and I also have posing clients. So, um, you know, I got to fit everything in. So I think that would be a good thing for people to see, but, um, I could tell you my plan right now, but it's probably not going to be how it ends up. You know, that, that's how it always goes. Um, <laughs> so next week I'll, I'll, um, I'll make sure, I'll make sure to fill everyone in on that. Cause that's a good question and it comes up a lot and I'm pretty OCD about scheduling and planning things. So I think, um, hopefully I can help with, with that. <laughs> um, so that was during the week. Um, everything's been, you know, just kind of Moving right along, and then this weekend I went down to Fort Myers for a powerlifting meet. And um, a few of the people from our team, um, Team PSA, were competing. And so I came down, Ryan came up, you know, we always like to support people. And we had other friends there too. Um, and I've been going to his meets, you know, for the past two years now. And, you know, I did one meet, <laughs> but I've been going to most of his meets. So, you know, I know some of the people there. And it's really good to be able to catch up with, you know, teammates and, um, just, you know, random friends you've made in, in that circle. Um, so yeah, so a few of the people, they did really, really good. Um, one of the girls from our team, another one of the girls, um, qualified for one of the national meets in, um, in Vegas. Don't ask me the name of it because there's so many meets. Um, but it's a big deal, you know, in, um, in Vegas. We have, a, we have a good amount of people from our team going there. Um, and then my friend Jordan actually squatted a all-time world record, which was pretty exciting because I was filming that. So I thought, oh shit, this is actually happening. Uh, so he hit a uh, two, no, 785 squat at 220. Um, so that was awesome. And I'm pretty sure he beat, yeah, he beat Dan Green's record for that. I don't know the exact number. It was like 280 something that Dan had. So, um, so yeah, he had an awesome day and that was really cool to, to be a part of. 
Um, and like I said, just catching up with, with people from the, my team because um, my powerlifting gym, or you know, where we're all at is in South Florida, so I only get to go there now when I go home, um, which kind of sucks, you know, because it's awesome and I love being with everyone. So if you're in South Florida, make sure to check out Power Sports Academy. I'll put that in the description because um, it's an awesome place to train just all around, you know, for powerlifting, athletics. They also do a lot with like kids and, and sports. So great place to check out. Um, so that was fun. And then catching up with other people, you know, that I've met at different at the different meets, like Brian Carroll, represent 1020 Life. <laughs> um, he's been an awesome resource for me also in the powerlifting group. And especially when I was dealing, I still am dealing with, with back issues and training. And, and I mean, he's been through the ringer with injuries. So um, his, his website, powerrackstrength.com, yes. I'll put that in the description too in case I mess it up. Um, he has a lot of content um, himself and other writers write for him. And just kind of, you know, overall, you know, lifting and, and health. And he's really big on, you know, injury prevention. And he's worked a lot with... Um, Dr. Stuart McGill, Stuart? Yeah, McGill. <laughs> and um, so he has a lot of great back techniques for back endurance and strength. So, you know, check that out too. So I'll put all that in the description in case people watch this and, and forget. Um, so yeah, so that was really fun. And I wanted to go over kind of what I brought to the meet um, because, you know, I know, you know I travel on prep and, and me and Paul made that video a few weeks ago on eating out and, you know, going to Chipotle and stuff. Um, so I wanted to kind of reiterate and show people, look, I made this kind of, you know, impromptu trip, um, and what I brought and how I managed on prep. So one, um, when, when Ryan told me the name of the hotel, I looked online and I didn't call, I should have called, but I didn't. And they said, they didn't say anything about a fridge. So I assumed incorrectly that there wouldn't be a fridge. So I only brought two like cold meals in my six pack bag. Um, we get there, there's a fridge and a freezer, but you know, whatever. Um, so I ate one of the meals in the car on the way down and the other one I was gonna say, okay, I'm gonna eat this for dinner um, or if we go out somewhere where there's something that I can eat or I wanna eat. So we ended up going, the place we stayed was really nice in Fort Myers. There was like a whole bunch of different like shops and food and you know, all that kind of bars everywhere, really close. So we went to some, you know, nice-ish Mexican place. Um, so as much as I would have liked to have a, you know, Mexican, Crush Fest, I, I didn't do that. Um, <laughs> I had a salad um, with chicken, and then I ordered an extra side of shrimp because I needed some more protein. So I had chicken, shrimp, lots of lettuce, peppers, a little bit of black beans, and a few slices of avocado. I got the dressing on the side. It was like lime, cilantro, vinaigrette, whatever. You just use a little bit of it. It was pretty good, um, and they actually put cheese. <sighs> if anyone knows me, I hate, cheese. like hate cheese. And I said, no cheese but there was cheese on the side, hidden, and then when I moved that, it all toppled over, so whatever. But besides that, everything was great. Um, so, you know, that was me eating out, and then I, you know, I saved my other meal, because I knew I would probably eat it at another time, and I had the fridge. So we had the, um, the breakfast that was there, and I had brought three hard-boiled eggs and a salad, so that was gonna be like my second meal for Friday night. Um, but I was like, okay, well, I don't like the eggs that they have here, you know, like the typical kind of already made sketchy scrambled eggs that not not trying to eat that um, So I brought down my eggs, <laughs> which smelled great. Yeah um, Brought down my eggs and then I had like a little bowl of oatmeal It was just plain oats and then they had like two packets of peanut butter like the little ones that they have put that in there Good to go. And then for my next meal. I so I still had this salad, which was just veggies and some avocado um, and so they went to Chipotle and <laughs> Ryan's always at Chipotle, so if there's one around, we're gonna go, which is great because I can always eat there. Um, but I had the salad, so I was like, I don't really want to buy a whole thing. I don't want to waste this. So I just asked for like a to-go cup of of steak, which was like a scoop that they would normally put on, and it was like two or three dollars. So I had you know my salad already already made, and then just added the steak, and that was perfect. And then. Um, what else? Well, the meat actually ended up taking really long, so then I brought, I had, I started eating my survivor food, as I'll call it. <laughs> uh, I brought two Quest bars, no, I brought one Quest, oh no, one or two Quest bars, and then protein powder. So I had a Quest bar, and then I always bring protein powder no matter where I go, because you never know, you know, where you're going to be. You can usually always find carbs and fats pretty easily, but I'm pretty particular when it comes to meat. Um, and like eggs and stuff like that. So like at the breakfast, if I didn't have those eggs, I probably just would have put protein, like shaking it up, 
had a shake or put it in the oatmeal. Um, but yeah, so I always bring kind of like what I call survivor food if I'm traveling for a little bit longer. You know, it's always, you know, a few Quest bars, protein powder, usually those like tuna packets, those can always go in your bag. Um, and so I always have that kind of stuff because like I said, usually you can find carbs and fats pretty easily. Um, so hopefully that helped. Um, you know, I like to kind of give insight to like what I do because people think you have to be super miserable and, and I do bring, it's not that I don't bring my food places because sometimes I do because I already have it, right? So I wasn't going to waste the salad that I had made, right? So I just brought it, but it wasn't like this, like, oh my God, I have to eat out of this baggie. I hate my life. Like it wasn't like, that. I just wanted to eat it so it didn't go bad. Um, and then on Friday night before the meet, uh, a few of us went out because, you know, the people who weren't competing, <laughs> um, and it was like a world of beer, I think it was called that. Like a little, you know, beer bar kind of thing. So, you know, I wasn't drinking, obviously, but um, I brought this new thing that I found the other day at the grocery store, which is actually pretty good. I mean, I'm dieting, so maybe that's why it's good. But um, Crystal Light, the little, like you squeeze it and stuff, and it was like berry sangria. So I just ordered water, and then I just kind of, you know, put it in there and felt festive. <laughs> um, but, you know, like, and that's another thing. Like, a lot of people don't want to do anything when they're prepping because, oh, like, you can still be social, you know what I mean? Like, do I want to go to, like, a club? Like, no, well, I don't like doing that anyway. But, I mean, I'm not going to go somewhere where people are, like, super drunk and, like, hanging all over me. Like, no. But if I'm going to, like, a bar with, like, a friend or, like, a restaurant bar, like, don't feel like you can't go, you know. You can order water. Um, if you're not a boring person, <laughs> you can have fun. Um, and then you can, like, I mean, uh, that sounded kind of rude, but, you know, whatever. Um, and, you know, like I said, you can feel like, you know, okay, I'm putting this in here, you know, I'm having something. Um, and even if you are, say you're not prepping, um, those are really great to bring. Like, if you just want to get, like, a vodka water, and then you just put in, like, the Crystal Light or the Mio or whatever. They have all those different flavors. Um, pretty cool idea. And I was kind of like, oh, this probably suck. Um, and again, maybe they're great because I'm dieting right now, but it was pretty good. So yeah, that's, that's kind of it for the, uh, 10 weeks out or I guess nine weeks, five, six days, whatever. <laughs> um, I just, um, cut my food today actually. Um, so I'll hopefully be seeing some more changes, um, in the next, in the next few days. Um, so yeah, that's about it. Um, let me know what you guys think in the comments and hopefully you enjoyed this and you're enjoying the kind of once a week, um, updates. Thanks. Have a great week, everyone. Bye.